Hi, my name is Tiffany Cameron, Reggae Girls Top Striker, and you are watching Ryan LFC YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, I'm deaf. Let me hear. This is Boom Boom, aka World Boom, the Billboard Selector. And may I represent for Ryan LFC to get the latest Reggae Boys content. Just hit that like and subscribe button. And the Operation Ball Game, I say, knock it, Ryan. Good evening, 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 evening to everyone out there. Yard and abroad, I really appreciate all of you guys tuning in to the channel. So if you're watching back on the replay, I want you guys to share your opinion down in the comment section. I am going to try my best to go through all of you guys. Um, comment. All right. So the people that are watching the live stream now, please, we have an interesting topic to talk about. Something that's going to change the game for Jamaican football. Not just for the senior team. Under 17, under 15, under 20. We want to make a change. You know you know me, guys. I make the most nice. I cuss out the most people on YouTube. So when we see something um, good, want to change the game of the sports, listen, man, I have to jump on, on it. So first and foremost, people, I want to give Manning's man a whole lot of credit because he is the mastermind behind this. You understand? And I want to be a part of change. You understand, so I want to big up Manning's man. Uh, my viewers and subscriber, I will not be the co-host tonight. The co-host will be Manning's man. He going to um, give the Jamaican people something special tonight. He did it on him channel, but we want to make the people them know what we doing going forward. And for the people them, we going to need you guys support. You understand, we have a special guests you understand we have two special guests in the building people one going to join us a little bit late but without further ado people hit the like button hit that subscribe button and leave your thought down in the comment section so first and foremost people i want to introduce my guest tonight my first guest um manning's man good evening sir man welcome on elite sports tv it's a pleasure i want to tell you my brother Thank you very much to come up with this great idea. And we expect to be a success. I want people, Jamaica, yard and abroad, in no matter where, where in the world you are, we need a support with this one. So, man, is man, good evening, man. All the family, all everything's man. Talk to me. Yeah, man. Good evening, Ryan. Good evening to all the persons in the comment section. It's always good to be here, man. The last time I was here, I mean, so many things have changed. The name of the channel has changed. <laughs> your, your jersey has changed from red to yellow. The position of your team has changed from from four to what? Fourteen and all of those things. So <laughs> don't worry, man. You're coming to Anfield, you know. Don't worry about it, man. You're coming to Anfield. You're coming so, to so Anfield. Many, so many. But it's always a pleasure being here, man. You're always. And I am sure sports giving us support. So it, it's always an honor and a privilege to work together. You understand? Because all of us have the same desire. Um, even even when we are the most critical, all of us want to see the good of the football. There, there is no person who discuss it that want Jamaica football to die. We may not sound that way sometimes because it hurt us deep down. Yeah. But that, 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 yeah, you know, we really all of us, every person in the space, every every person in the comment section want what is best for Jamaica football, and that is why we're here tonight. You know, so thank you for the opportunity to be here. Thank you, Manning's man. And again, I appreciate, you know, you want to make changes in the football. And I'm so happy you come up with this idea. Because we can there, of course, every single day. But people, I want you guys to be a part of the change. You understand? We can help. And this is the way we're going to get together and help the Jamaica national team going forward. So big up to all the people in the comment section. So without further ado, listen, people, this... Liverpool thing and Arsenal thing is for another thing. You know what I mean? They have too much money. You understand? Men enjoy Liverpool, but Jamaica is my first love right now. You understand? It was Liverpool first, but my change because, you know, I get deep in this Jamaica, Jamaica thing. So, definitely. So, people, without further ado, people, we're going to bring on our next guest. Um, I call him the research boss. You get to me and say, people, always bring 
a whole heap to the table, people. Um, always come with a great idea and him compliment the work I'm doing on this show. So, Prince, good evening, man. Welcome to the show, my brother. How are you doing? You're mute, you're mute, you're mute. Yeah, sorry about that. Even Ryan, even man is man, you know. Um, looking forward to a fabulous show, right? Um, you know, um, I want to go into the show today and I want and there's so much that I'm looking forward to learning. I already have the book and the pen out, you know. <laughs> Research always doing, right? Um okay. looking forward to capturing some information and you know, it's just by the end of the show, I hope that I can be way more knowledgeable than how I started the show. So, you know, definitely looking forward and based on the topic, you know, the topic is really interesting to me. And trust me, um, it's just great being on the show today, right? Definitely. So, people, our next guest we're going to bring on, people, it's not a, he's not a stranger to Ryan Sports Classic. Uh, Ryan Ellip. Oh, oh my God, I have so much name, man. Elite Sports TV. So we want to welcome the general executive to the space again. We really appreciate him coming on and stuff, man. Mr. Dennis Strong, good evening, sir. Welcome to the show, man. Yeah, man. How, how you doing? Um, Ryan Mannings and the Umbra man. <laughs> 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 so oh, 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 is, how you doing uh, Mr. Chung I'm good man I'm good, I'm good. Okay. fair enough fair enough so people um, our next guest that's the president he running a little bit short and hopefully he can come as soon as possible people so give him a little bit of time people keep it clean down in the comment section this is something that we want the people them to understand that we want to change the mindset of the people them all right we we'll probably don't change everybody tonight but that's the aim and we're trying to reach out for everybody to come on board to help but without further ado people it's not in my hand anymore it's in mr manning's man and take it over take it over mr manning's man all right so thank you Ryan. so let me just give a little background and and, and just help run a couple of things the truth is that this is not Manning's man idea really this this came out of all the discourse that we have had on on these platforms like before the pandemic when you know in particular throughout the, the last world cup campaign when many of us were disappointed with many things and many debates many arguments many quarrels many fights many disagreements were had and different people are different things and i would say that every single vlogger our content creator on YouTube must be credited, including the persons in the comment section, because this is something that we have always been saying, but we have never put it together in terms of paperwork and organization. So it is not, it is not for me, it is for the football. And like, like I said, when I did it on my show, we, 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 we can add to it, we can take from it, we can create something coming out of it. It, it is not, it is not Z document, it is not Z thing, it is just a thing that can be changed all right and so that's one the, the, the other premise i have to set is that we have to look at the context that we are in if we're going to understand what we need to do and part of that meaning it, it, france as an example they don't really go outside of france for players because the players that they use many times though they are from other countries they live and play in france Jamaica, the dynamics of Jamaica is a little different that the, the, the players that can qualify to play for us are not playing in our league, are living in our country. They live outside. And so our approach cannot be like France. Our approach cannot be like England. All right. Um, so none of those countries are similar to us. I think of, of probably the Caribbean countries and CONCACAF nations, uh, Jamaica, probably with the exception of the United States, and, and and Mexico have the largest population outside of its own geographical border, one. And also, we probably have the largest population as a Caribbean nation in England and, and possibly in the United States, the English-speaking Caribbean. That means that there's a, there's a vast wealth of human intellectual capital and resources available 
And we think like the football need to tap into that. And, and, and I know that Mr. Chang being an astute businessman would agree that even for the economical growth of the nation, we have to find a way to tap into our intellectual capital outside the geographical borders of Jamaica. And that same kind of thing is what is igniting this discussion on football, right? How are we going to tap into the vast amount of talent outside of Jamaica, on the male side and on the female side, as early as possible, so that we don't have any more top talent being lost? And then we, we see, like in the last World Cup, where there was a 27-man squad that could have been named of persons who could have represented Jamaica. Between England, United States, the Netherlands, Costa Rica, Honduras. All of those nations had players playing for them that could have qualified and played for Jamaica. 27, all right? So it means that there are players out there and then what then is this strategy um, that we need to seek and, and see if we can provide them with the opportunity. And we believe that doing that would not deter our domestic players any bit. We believe that if you add quality, then things will get better gradually. The, the more quality you add is, is the more even our local league and players will step up in standard and, and may, there may come a day when the local standards are so high that here's what happened. We, we don't have to go outside of the geographical borders. There is that possibility, but right now in the present state, in this present context, we need outside help. So that is the premise for this document, um, Mr. Chang. So I don't know if you, if you agree that, because if you don't agree that that is something we need to do, then what we have put together may not necessarily be of any value. Yeah. Um, no, I think that you're, you're correct um, in your analysis. Uh, what I have found, and certainly my experience also, in terms of, you know, I've done a few um, companies that have gone in and they've, they've had issues and fixed them. Um, the most important thing in any environment, any organization, um, is culture and mindset. You know, that's the most important thing. Because you can have the more most money in the world, you can have the, the, the best team in the world if you don't have a proper culture, if you don't have a proper mindset, then you're going to have a problem, right? And, and that's why I like, I, I love this initiative that Ryan is speaking to me about because what he said initially and what we want to do is we want to change the mindset. Um, you know, when you, look at, when you look at the Adidas attraction to Jamaica, Adidas, who is looking from outside, see the potential in the Jamaican brand. See the talent when I when I go and speak to coaches from overseas. Right. Just a second, guys. I'm going to try to help the president to get on. So I'm going to come off stream a little bit. All right. Just give me a minute. Right. You can continue, Mr. Yeah. yeah. So so the coaches overseas, I mean, they see a lot of talent in Jamaica. Um, I find that sometimes as Jamaicans, we're too hard on ourselves. The people outside, the Adidas is. The, the coaches overseas, they see a lot more positives. And I think that this is what this sort of program that you guys working on will enable, right? I am not saying, right, that we should, we, we should excuse incompetence and inefficiency. We need to hold each other accountable. But as Ryan said at the start of the program, we need to hold each other accountable in a very respectful way because what I find is that, and my experience with, with managing people is that, you know, 
you, you see when you see when you, you keep putting down somebody you actually make them worse when you recognize the potential that someone has you actually help them to improve and at the end of the day you know you're right um manning's man we, we have the we have the talent we have the potential but you know the truth is that if we keep talking negatively about ourselves then the persons who could represent us not going to want to represent us you know and and that is one of the things that the coach has spoken about that we have to be positive you know the talent that we have out there when he looks at the amount of people and the talent that can actually represent jamaica you know is amazing you know i mean we we could actually with that talent that we have we could go very far but we have to we, we, we have to ensure that we attract people to the program you know and i think that what you guys are doing you know is is a great initiative i applaud you for it you know um because the truth is that we all want the best for jamaica i i gave a commitment when i came here last november i'm going to be very transparent you're right i hope i've lived up to that but that is what I'm going to do with you guys. You know, I'm going to be very transparent about it. Um, I'm going to hold myself accountable. I'm going to make sure that the right thing happens at JFF, you know, um, and, and that's what I can do. And if each of us play our part, then I think that the sky is the limit for Jamaica based on the talent we have. I mean, not just on the men's side, but I know you guys that I heard about this girl, Jody Brown. Yeah, you man. Know. We, we, yeah, man. We know the Jody Brown. Jody Brown is from. Yes, man. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, man. She, 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 the talent that she has, boy. You know, when I, I remember a few weeks ago, I was at a coaches' convention in Philadelphia, the largest co convention in the world. And um, you know, when my, my cousin Humans is introduced me to, to everybody and, and tell them I'm from JFF, the first thing they say, right? One of the first things they talk about the coaches. Boy, you have a girl there, Jody Brown. She's amazing. In fact, some players that I was introduced to, the first thing they said to me, you know, you have a girl, Jody Brown. We don't know how to stop her. You know, that is the sort of talent that we have. You know, and I hear that there are a few more like that coming up. You know, so we, 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 we're big all over. We, we just need to, um, as Jamaicans, you know, um, cultivate the culture that accepts it and say, hey, we're going to run with it. And as I said, hold us accountable. Everybody needs to hold themselves accountable, right? But yeah. and we're going to move this thing forward. And I have to big up people like you and, and Ryan Manning's man that, that hold us accountable. But Ryan, no, I don't mind it. You know, curse me how they want to curse me. <laughs> At the end of the day, as long as it's Ryan buying the drink, he can curse me how they want to curse me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so, so that is that is like I said the, the whole concept because listen, and, and because it's important that we also understand that there's a there is a the, Jamaica being marketable as a nation generally is not a reflection of the talent available in Jamaica no. because we could still sell a whole lot of football jerseys even if we don't have the best talent because. Yeah. Arsenal, for example, designed a Jamaican looking jersey. jersey and it had nothing to do with any Jamaican player being at Arsenal, just the Jamaican color. It did the same thing, shut down the and, Adidas and website. You, you notice, you know, man, yeah. you notice that <clears throat> from Arsenal designed a Jamaican jersey, they start the good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 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 uh, <laughs> if you want to think that's not a problem, I support Arsenal. So the problem good. Liverpool have is that they never have a Jamaican jersey design. <laughs> yeah. But the other thing is the same thing that happened Ajax with the Bob Marley One Love um, design and how that, that become a theme song. So the truth is that as a, as a people, as a nation, it is marketable even if we're not putting out the talent. So what we're trying to do is yeah. ensure that we add talent to the marketability, which will increase our market value. So because now with this marketability, with this platform, imagine, just imagine with me, if we were winning Gold Cups 
yeah. going to semifinals of World Cup with what we already have, how big the wow. deal could be. Yeah, man. How, how wide the reach could spread. And that Huge. is what we want to do. And I and I I don't I don't put it past us to do very well with with, with the plans that the coach have. You know, um, I, I really don't put it past us. You know, I think that based on what I've seen, you know, and the, the way we're preparing right now, because already we're, we're a big team with the girls, the women. You know, I can tell you a lot of teams want to play us from, on the women's side. Um, so I don't, I don't, really don't put it past us, you know. Um, I think that we have the, the, the ability right now Right, we have the opportunity right now, and and you know, with with what I see in terms of the the human resources, from terms of the, the the head coach and the moves that are being made, I think we're going to do very well leading up to twenty twenty six and in twenty twenty six. Okay, all right, awesome. I mean, I don't know if um um Kevin want to add anything, and then I'll show you a, a diagram that, like I said, we have designed and how it works. As just a pathway to getting some of this thing done. I don't know if wait, 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 I said Kevin, what do you mean? Umra man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So at this point, um, we're pretty much just observing and just um taking in everything that Arnie's right. man has been saying, you know, take it in like a sponge. But um I will have some questions shortly. Uh so you can go ahead and you can um right. present presentation. So of course, you know, we 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 understand that that mm -hmm. the JFF is the governing body. So there's nothing you can do yeah. outside of the auspices of the JFF. Right? It must be sanctioned by them because they are the governing body. And we can't we can't separate the responsibilities that we would take on from the JFF because we don't want we don't want to create this unity. So I have to make that clear that people understand that whatever is done, it has to be done under the auspices of the JFF because they are the governing body Early. that determines everything that happens. We, we can't just independently go out and represent Jamaica's football without the the the, the sealed authority of the Jamaica Football Federation. It is going to cause conflict. So, so, so at the top of the triangle is it would be, and Ryan, I can bring up is 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 the JFF. We don't know if it, that is the name, but it would be the JFF supporters club, the JFF. So, Manning, So, um, I spoke to a few person today, and they said, um, instead of the JFF supporters club, um, the Reggae Boys Foundation. It's just like all the Reggae Girls are Reggae Girls Foundation. So. Yeah. We probably you probably can rechange the name and put it as Rick, but for now it's just yeah, a pretty, yeah. yeah. So we, we can always change that, right, Mr. Cho? So at the top of that mm. is, is where it at, which is under the, 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 the governance of the Jamaica Football Federation. Now there, there are two specific parts, and we, we want to tap into two specific areas of the diaspora, right? The the, 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 the the financial resources and the technical resources there is a technical committee in the gff and a finance committee all right the, the technical committee is headed by the technical director the chairman of the technical committee and the and the senior head coach for the, on the male side because the girls have a, a similar structure but um the, the, the head coach is is different right um different head coach so so and they have a foundation so so that would be say mr speed mr hal grimson and um, Wendell Donzel, who is the present technical director. On the finance committee side, you would be the person. So you would be the person who, who the two committees. So there are two committees, they call the diaspora committees. One um, exists in the United States, and one is in the USA, and that covers North America. And one in the United Kingdom would cover all of that, right? On the finance committee side, the other one is on the technical side. So each of these jurisdictions will have two committees functioning. One that is based on raising uh, finances, uh, putting in procedures to help a player to move from, I think I have a grandparent from Jamaica to actually getting them to the place where even if they're not called up, they have a Jamaican part passport. We want to begin to operate like the Jewish people. That if you think you're a Jew, they give you a Jewish um, passport. 
So, so, so the Jews have, I mean, I know there are other intricate stuff involved in that. So you'd have that. You'd have these set of people that they, they, they will, they will, like I said, bring in the finances. They will help with the documentation when persons can prove that they are legitimately connected to Jamaica. If, if, if there are camps that need to be held, they will be able to host those camps having raised funds to do that. None of this will happen without reports being given to you who then when you meet with the, the, your, your board of directors or the governance committee at the jff you can say listen they collected ten dollars and they're going to keep this camp and that camp and that camp and you have approved it and they keep the camp they show you the budget so everything is is managed and the everything is is, is shown to you who who give approval on the financial side on the technical side we have been in dialogue with many of the past players and they want to be involved. These are players who are willing to give, who are not seeking to get. Um, they are not doing this because they want money or they want salaries. They are doing this because they also understand that there is a, there's a lot of talent in the United States and North America and Central America that can represent Jamaica, that they dialogue with, uh, dialogue with often. We have several players also in England, um, in the United Kingdom, who wants to um give back but just want a structured way of giving back in terms of helping to identify player because we also know that the final responsibility of team selection and player for the squad is in the hand of our head coach the, the whomever the senior coach is on the male side or on the female side same thing for the under 20 and the under 17. these committees are not here to select teams but to ensure that the talent that can represent Jamaica are identified and they are given a pathway to becoming Jamaican citizen that if any of our coaches at any point needs a 16-year-old, he has a pool to look at, needs a, needs a, a, a centre-back who is for the senior team, he has a pool and he knows that if I call them, they have the requisite documentation already in place to, pre to, 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 to play because uh, we don't want to have a top superstar and by the time we come out and say, um, you know that, I don't know if you know this, you know that um, Ainsley Mate and my love, uh, Ainsley, um, um, Ainsley and M -M Niles of Arsenal, mm -hmm. the moment it was said that he, 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 he could represent Jamaica and he had Jamaican connection. The next international call-up, he was kept and never called back again. What we want to do is by the time the next player comes out and say, I am connected to Jamaica, they already have a Jamaican passport. And when the, the English FA, when, 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 when Coach Hal Grimson spoke, one of the things he said is that if a player plays for Jamaica, at 16 and 17, England is not going to call them again. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to capture them as early as we can. They may not be world class right now, but at 21, if we don't capture them, they are going to be so far in the English system that it becomes very difficult for us to convince them at this point. So the past players in England, they want to come together and form a committee that would do this. And then there's a next set of persons, resource persons, persons in finance and stuff, who are willing to, to meet with you and persons in the GFF as often as possible to put together the kind of framework that would be able to, like the Reggae Girls Foundation, to raise funds, um, to, like I said, to help with, say, Coach Hal Grimson said, they, they finds out that there are um, 30 players over there, right? The same way as a camp in Jamaica, it financially it would be too burdensome for the GFF to bring those players to Jamaica for a camp. So these people could raise funds and then have the coach fly up, find a, a, a venue and keep the camp in England, saving resources, yeah. still seeing the player. The same thing can happen to the United States. We had we had over we had over 30, 40 guys who did the, the training camp um, in Port St. Lucie for the under-17s. Under Not all of them were selected, but what would happen is that the, the, our coaches could go and have a camp there and also have camp here for the, for the, for the domestic players.
It also, I believe, provides opportunities for the coaches locally to be able to travel, introduce these spaces and learn in these environments to add to their learning. It also creates the opportunity at times for us to take, while we're going up to have a camp in England, we may be able to bring three players locally over there in that space so they can learn and begin to integrate them in mm -hmm. the system from early. So, some, so those are some of the ideas that we're putting together. Like I said, we already have in the United States um, 15 past Jamaica national players who are ready to do this. So far, um, Ricardo Gardner is mobilizing and he has over 10 former players in England who are ready to be a part of this. And they, they're not asking for any money, they just want to give back. And so that is the 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 the, 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 the flesh, the, the bones of the idea. So we need to just add the flesh to it. Yeah, um, I like the idea. Um, you know, the the truth is that, you know, the 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 more of us that can work together, right, and and support the program, is the better it it is for us. So. You know, it makes a stronger linkages and, and definitely I like this um, because, you know, what, what I'm interested in is to ensure that we, we, we get the ability to do this sort of thing, to, to, to go to camps, you know, to look at players. That's the foundation of everything. And, you know, if we can get the support um, to do this, um, not just financially, but also with, with persons rallying around with the organization, you know, um, I, I think that we can go far away with it. So I love it. I, I, I think we just need to look at, you know, how we're going to launch something like this. I mean, something like this, once we get it in place, you know, I definitely want everyone to know, you know, we do a press conference together and that sort of thing. But it's, it's a great idea, guys. You know, very, very good. And I thank you for it. You know, um, it just goes to show that, you know, your heart is in the right place for, for Jamaica and Jamaica and football. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so, so there you go. So we, like I said, there, there are two players and the truth is, and we know this, not, not, not everyone can be part of a committee because there are, I mean, there are many players and, and, and uh, like I said, we know all, as well that as, as, as much as the JFF is changing, there are many things that needs to be changed as well. So there's a lot of change, but we also understand that the wheel is spinning, but the car isn't going at 90 yet. You're probably at, say, 50. So momentum mm -hmm. is going. And so we don't want to, to like say, okay, let's wait until... So we are saying, listen, let us do what we can do. Let us, let us, yeah. you know, come together and, and add value to the process. Because the truth is, it doesn't stop you from criticizing, mm -mm. but you're offering a solution. So I don't think, for example, that this means that if a team play bad, I can't say the team played bad. Mm -mm. But, but this could still be going on. And I could still say yeah. the team didn't perform well enough. B because some things just need to, to happen. And, and this is close to my heart because I, I know of kids who have missed the opportunity of representing Jamaica. And truthfully, I don't want that to happen to my son. Mm -hmm. I, would well, not, well. I would not want him to get to a place where they say, Daddy, you, you know that. I, I, think, I think I better play. But I don't know how I deal with that. Like, I, think, I, I think I prefer play for the United States. What do you think, Daddy? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. I, I think that's a very important point, you know? I mean, I tell you right now the while that I went to this, this that, that, that great school on Old Hope Road, um, Jamaica College, you know? Um, and I, I was up there the other day talking to the principal. And, you know, he said something very instrumental to me. You know, Jamaica College has a very good football program, right? Um, and he said, you know, he said, call me Chung. He said, Chung, you know what? He went to school with me. Mm -hmm. um, he said, you know, what people don't realize about our football program 
is not about getting everybody a professional contract because he says they have gotten about 60 scholarships for people um in in the program right um boys who play football and he says about five percent of that is what it, it are, are people who go on to a professional football career but at the end of the day every one of them comes out with a degree right and that is what we want to create right um, and the president sp speaks about football as a social impact that is really the important thing as i said to Rand the other day you know i said to somebody the other day i said listen football is not about us you know the real purpose of football is a little you to have a dream who have a vision and say this is what i want you know for 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 my career or this is the route which i am going to take my family out of poverty that is what football is about and this is what something like this can do because the more people that we can see the more talent that we can build right and create i just don't see it as people playing for the jff but you know we we give th these children exposure to so the more that we can see the more people that we can expose you know it, it means the difference between a family in poverty and a family living a decent life you know and and giving people that opportunity so you're right management that's what i want to create yeah and, and what i wanted because like i think it is important that yeah. that that there's a role that people can play and they don't interfere in the role of others so so we yeah. we have young men um um let's 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 i recently had and, and because i have a dialogue we had a a, a a a show with some persons who are jamaican in england and they the issue they mentioned on the show is that they don't feel accepted in england but they don't feel welcome in jamaica and i think we're gonna have to use football yeah to break that so in other words they even the ones who sometimes play for England, like a, a Ryan Sterling, they don't feel like they are appreciated. The way, but but when they come to Jamaica if to represent sometimes, they don't feel like they are welcome. And that's a different reason. So I think the earlier we can get them, it is better. Which which means we 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 would love to 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 be able, for example, with our under 17 team, how it shouldn't be difficult that our head coach whomever that is of the under 17 you have a squad of 20. there are more than 20 former national players who when you go to look at people like bancroft garden these guys are i mean super intelligent i mean accomplish so much you have players persons like that you have tyrone marshall i can go on and on you have the woody harris the ricardo gardner a lot of these guys could even serve as mentor for our younger players. Yeah, yeah. Our, 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 our young players should be able to pick up the phone and call their mentor. Those players who have be portrayed good character and quality in the years of representing our national team to call and have a conversation with a Greg Simmons, a, a Gregory Messam, a... a a Freddie yeah. Butler, Dean Sewell, a Paul Young, a Woody Harris, whomever, Fitzroy Simpson. They should be able to, a Marcus Gale. Uh, 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 they should be able to pick up their phone and call a Dean Burton and say, um, I, I, I mean, I'm, I don't feel so confident in my game today. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I, I think this is what we want the program to facilitate, that we can begin to have mentors for our young players from the under 15 um all the way up and because some of these mentors will even you never know they will say listen all right listen in the summer you can come and stay with me and bring them in a, a professional environment expose them to sing so we see this as just bigger like i said than football on the field but personal development and breaking a, a long-standing barrier that many Jamaicans outside of Jamaica have felt like 
I am not appreciated where I am at, but I don't feel welcome when I go to Jamaica. Where am I? They are lost in this place of nothing, <laughs> nothingness. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not really a Jamaican, but I'm not really English. So I'm in between. I'm not really American, but I'm not really. And people have said that to them that you are not real Jamaican because you don't live here. And we want to use football to break that down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I, I agree with you. Um, that's where we need to go. We need to look at so at football as a, a social impact tool, you know. Um, and you know, and I, boy, I can't I can't tell you how much Manningsman and Ryan. I, I love this turn of events. The the focus now, you know, this is what we need to do. And you know, we we need to we, we need we, we need to criticize each other, but you know, we need to support each other with criticism. That's a, that's how I put it. Criticism must be a support tool. You know, and this sort of thing that you're doing is is definitely the way to go. You know, um, I like the infrastructure for you set it up. I like the accountability um, because you know that's one thing that's going to be very important. You know, anything we do must be very transparent, and you know we must be able to trace the accountability. You know, um, so I like it. Um, so I like the way that you, you you talk about you know the interaction and and how one committees and persons are going to be accountable to to um to the program you know and and that's all we need to do so it, it, it's great you know and and i think that this has a potential um to be to be huge you know um to be a huge support i mean we're talking about two to three million jamaicans overseas yeah. you know can you imagine if, if even 20 percent of those people you know, get on board and say, boy, we're going to support this train, you know, and move forward. It's, it's the potential to change is huge. So, I mean, I don't think you guys recognize what you have done, but, you know, you have a put, you have something here that potentially can be a major game changer in football. Because, as I said, I don't think that the, my assessment, I don't think that the main issue with football is the lack of talent, right, or just the organization. I think the major problem with football has been that we have not embraced the culture of progress and the culture of progress um, around football. That, I think, is it. And, you know, um, we, we, we've, I, I've, I've, I've seen a lot of commentary Around, I mean, consider 1998. You remember the spirit that was there in 1998 leading up to the World Cup? Yeah. That was something that a lot of people who weren't around at that time, you know, they wouldn't understand, you know, the 1998. When I sat in the stadium, when we qualified, when we played against Mexico, I tell you, you know, when the final whistle blow, you know, before you hear the eruption, for about 10 seconds, you could hear a pin drop, you know. Everyone was so elated, you know. It's just a, a feeling that, that overcome you. And the, the, the spirit that we had at that time, everyone was moving in the direction of football, you know, development of football. The stadium, I, I don't know if, if you guys were around, but you remember the stadium, you couldn't get a ticket to buy to go in the stadium. Irrespective of who come, if Jamaica was playing a kindergarten team, the, the stadium ram. You understand? That is what we want to bring back. And that was a campaign leading up, right? And I think that we have a good infrastructure now. We have a good coach. You know, starting with this Trinidad match that's coming up, right? And you're going to see a lot more because we want to bring a lot more matches to Jamaica, right? Not just to Jamaica, but I've been talking to some people. Even yesterday, someone called me from New York and they want to bring a Jamaican team to New York. A reggae, a reggae girl, a reggae boy to play in New York, right? So, the, the, the spirit is catching up. I want to. 
I, I want to I, I, I want to see us wherever we go where our diaspora is. So we, we want to big it up more than just Jamaica now, right? As in 1998. Wherever the diaspora is, we want to go there and electrify this thing. So I mean what you guys have, I think, is a foundation for it. You know, yeah. so, and so I mean, we're we're definitely on board with it. So there are 800, approximately 800,000 Jamaican living in our persons with Jamaican heritage or connection in the United Kingdom. All right. So yeah. if you go 10% of that, right, that's 80,000 people. Yeah. And if 80,000 people give 10 pounds a year, that's 800,000, right? We go back to the yeah. same 800. Multiply that by... $200, you get 160 million Jamaican dollars. Yeah. So when you think about that, imagine all the grassroots program that can be changed. But the truth is we also understand that people, people have to buy into a vision. And um, part of the thing like Coach Al Grimson said is that he would be willing to go and meet with some of these players because... Yeah. Because I think someone had suggested that maybe there should be some sort of dinner where he could go and meet with the players because some of the relationships were bad. And what we want to do is to, to, to continue the change by letting them know that something's happened in the past. We are going past that. All right. We are going past that and we are going ahead. And, and he has that and meet with them. It changes the dynamics and everybody get on board because they are still, we have to also face the reality. There are some persons who, because of their own experience, will have a bad taste in their mouth. And so we want, the, 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 the coach did say that, listen, if they, if, they, if they are there, I would go. It's not far, he says, I'm in Iceland. It's not far from Iceland to England. A couple of hours, I could go and meet with them just to just to mend the broken fences so we can move on because it, there, there's a ton well, we haven't gone to the united states because we could go with five percent of the population in the united states of america and canada if five percent of that two million which is which is a hundred thousand people five percent of two million Hundred thousand. I'm not so good at math now. So somebody yeah, else. Yeah, man. You're, you're on target. <laughs> hundred thousand. So you go hundred thousand times. What well, one forty? Let's go one forty. That's what one hundred and forty million Jamaican dollars. That's if they give like ten dollars for a year. Yeah. If five percent yeah. of the Jamaican population in Canada and the United States give ten U.S. dollars a year. We have 140 million Jamaicans dollars. You know that it could fix a surface. Yeah, yeah, we could we could fix a lot of pitches in Jamaica with that. There you go. You know, so and, imagine and that, imagine yeah. five years in a row, you get 160 million from the population in in the United Kingdom and 140 from North America. Almost yeah. half a billion Jamaican dollars. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, 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 it's some. No, I mean, a fire starts with a spark, you know. And I think this is the spark, guys. I think this is a spark, you know. So, I want to just push it, yeah. So, um, welcome, military gunner. Thanks for coming, man. Thing really appreciate it. So, people who don't know military is one of us, um, YouTube, a content creator, and stuff. So, welcome, military. But before me hand over the button to military and Prince, I just want to. Joining and um, what Manning's man has presented. Manning's, I'm telling you, man, this is something that um going to change the whole dynamic of the reggae boys. You know what I mean? Because we been here crying out for um changes in the football federation, and you come up with something that can take us to the nether game, to the next level, right? And when you even look at it, to have so many pass players in the United States and, and, and England, that's where we get most of our players, some of our players that represent for the national team. And I want to say, um, with this type of money, not saying people are going to donate them type of money they as yet to the money, but I'm saying with this type of money as well, um, 
Mr. Chung said transparent is very important and the books i definitely believe in management the book will open up people can see it so it's nothing that we past player youtube are hiding is to improve the nation can you imagine the organization the committee from england organizer camp all reggae boys camp can even get games with club team organize a facility all the people from the jff need to do is just to turn up the coach turn up and everything that is just a different thing you yeah. understand and i see this going to be something big that going to change and take pressure off the football federation although these things taking pressure away we still want to hold the jff accountability for doing enough of these things so I'm happy. I'm happy you come up with this, Mannings. Really appreciate it. And as your chunk say, he, he like it. He definitely like it and stuff. So, over to you, Prince. You have anything? Mannings, I yeah, was showing a man on a yeah. mean bridging. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, yes, definitely. Uh, All right. Um, so, Mr. Chung, right? Uh, first, most more of say, like, if I, can if I could shake your hand right now, I would have shaken your hand, right? Because since you have came into the job, you have done a remarkable job so far, right? There was a lot of frustration built up in the reggae boy supporter over the years, years of headache, years of frustration. And I think what you did is that you gave the reggae boy supporters a platform that they could have expressed their frustration. And I think that's where the healing starts, right? First, we have to allow the fans to, you know, express their frustration. And from right there, we can start the rebuilding of the connection between the fans and the JFF. And that is what you have done, sir, so far. So I would like to applaud you on our job so far. Okay, sir? Yeah, man. Thanks. All right. So, man is my next thing. You know, more really for big you up. For, for, te, for, for step forward and take an initiative like this because trust me, having something like this is a huge game changer for the whole football nation of Jamaica right? We know JFF, the world is a big place and JFF, they don't have the resources nor the manpower to cover the globe I think what this, what this does is that this gives us the capability to carry out such actions right because you know having somebody in the us having somebody in the uk who who is just one call away that can organize who can organize our youth players who can organize to to start out senior players and stuff this is gonna be an absolute huge huge game changer to the program and going forward i'm looking for it to grow you know i'm looking for it to grow to i'm strength to strength it's, yeah, man, from strength to strength. So, man is man, big up yourself and take a round of applause. Yeah? Uh, military. Military. Uh, Una, hear me clearly? Yes, man, I hear yeah, me. All right. Um, good night, everyone. Ryan, um, man is man, Prince. Hold well, on, mi mi military, military. What, what brand shirt you have on? <laughs> you know, I've had nothing but. <laughs> the, man, the, man, the, man, the, man, the man worse than Prince Ryan. I wait on the fridge in Jamaica first because I'm going to buy it straight from, from in Jamaica. Yeah. All right, so um, beautiful presentation put forward by Manning's Man, I have to say. Um, I was listening to it, every detail of it, and some key aspects um, I definitely want to take away from it. We are the importance of getting the diaspora on board which is very very important and um so you can have that connection between jamaica the diaspora and also the players who are in the diaspora and also the importance of this is very very key people when you hear the, we have a federation where the past players are integral in the moving forward of the federation I don't know that that's that's actually groundbreaking stuff, you know, because not many federation you see the past players are so eager to jump and support the federation because of ill will and all these and all these things. So this the inclusion of past players is so important because past players of younger players looking up to them 
in the in the SS, especially players in, um, in the diaspora in England and these places, you have younger players in those regions who are tightly connected. As you, as you know, man is man, that most of these young players that are represented us know, know that are from all these regions of the world, they are tightly connected to form the past players or senior reggae boy players who would see this initiative and want to jump on board to this. It, it goes to show that there's there's a lot of people who want to see the federation and Jamaica specific, Jamaica specific move in one direction where we can have football as the main priority, World Cup or just even football development of football in Jamaica as the main priority, producing top class quality um, um, talent. This is a beautiful initiative. And I, um, I, for one, is going to say that that's off to you, management. That's off to you, Ryan. Um, and it, I think you, you, you've contributed to it as well, Prince, in, in the movement of this, because this is groundbreaking stuff in Jamaican football. And this should be the ripple effect to some better things to come. Yeah. So big up Dima for the super chat. Appreciate it, man. Go ahead, man. So I'll, I'll add to that, Mr. Chung, that since we have started this, I, I don't know if you know that we have we have an attorney, um, a Jamaican attorney, former Wolmerian, who, well, let me say Not this. Wrong school, wrong school, but we're taking. <laughs> <laughs> the, the two oldest school in this part of the world, you know. <laughs> Is, is the great man in, and the wolf was in the careful now, you know, when they get yourself in trouble, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, um, I mean, since since we have come up with this, we have had attorneys. I mean, I don't want to call everyone's name, but you know, we have had a, a UN ambassador, and these are Jamaicans who want to be a part of it. There are also other persons who 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 work with um high commission in the past who have helped in the past who are willing to give their service. They are, they, are, they are persons who have also scouted players who are working. And it is to get everybody and make them feel a sense of value and worth, like, like you have contributed to something. I'm going to give you a very simple example of something that we thought about. So we just had an under-17 team that played a tournament. We lose our jaw. It's done. It's gone. It's dusted. Um, and one of the things we said that this committee would do of past players is there is a team photo that should be taken that at the end of the tournament, a letter is sent thanking every player, regardless of the outcome, with the team photo to them. And they will have that. Yeah. That means yeah. that they know that they're appreciated. And even if they never get called again to a national team, they have a picture of when they represented Jamaica. They can blow it up. They can whatever. And in this digital age, you can do a printed yeah, yeah. one and send it. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good idea. Yeah. So, so stuff like that is what we want to do because we don't want a player to feel like from day me come play. Imagine me come play the tournament and them don't call me back until me are 19. Come play under 20. We don't want that to be anyone's experience. Right, we, we, we want to do that. Yes, they are coming to represent Jamaica, but we also want them to represent Jamaica where they go. Well, well, Manning's man, Ryan is fart, you know, and they're not calling back yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he should have been called in the first place, but, <laughs> but, but so, so, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, so we have that. I have past players telling me that, listen, there can be teletons. I have people who have committed financial resources already. You know, I have people who have said that, listen, we will give, I will commit to giving 1,000 US dollars every year already. Yeah, once yeah. it is settled, more than one person. We, there is, there is reggae, the, the reggae boy supporters club who have already committed to paying the full cost for a coach to do the, I think it's $150,000 Jamaican um, after subsidy from the Federation to do the B license mm -hmm. or the mm -hmm. A license. So they have yeah. committed and they're going to do a launch soon where they go give that money to pay that's, for that's, that, no, man, that, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. So people have heard about this and they want to come on board. The thing is, yeah. which is what some people are still, and, and I'll say to the people, listen, I hear you, but things are 
things are happening. Like I said, the players are running the meeting. You're going to hear about the coach being given the money. The, but you can't just... The, the, the idea is people want to know the B license. There you go. Like that there is absolute transparency. And that is why the, the, there's a reporting to Mr. Chung so that... Because what you don't want to you know, as an example, that me, Ryan Military, and, and Kavan collect all the money. Mr. Chang don't know about it. We do what we want to do. A man saying give me 10 million. We only have 1 million. And then we, we so some of the money gone. Oh, we, don't want, we don't want to get the money and we hand over. Uh, uh, say so, so we, we hand it over to the GFF and they have a million. We go back and say, can we get 500 to do this? They say, boy, we use it. You know that boy, Ryan, they come up here now. We have to treat him good enough. So we buy him. We, we put on a, a, a big dinner for him and the whole friend them from down a yeah, I mean, we, know, we know that is just theoretical, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hypothetically <laughs> speaking. Right. Hypothetically <laughs> speaking. So, so the idea, though, is that on both ends, there is openness and transparency. Yeah. If, if, if that, that account is set up, that is monitored with signatories, that everything, there, there is quarterly reports that everybody can see where... Every cent goes. Every single time. And that is, I think that is the part because this will serve, I believe, to restore the image that many people have that the federation, not the individual, but the federation is a failing federation. Because sometimes, Mr. Changa, you know this, um, a company may not be failing. Because everything rises and falls on the leadership. You, yeah, you, you yeah. have been in places where when you step in, everything got better. So it wasn't the company. It was the personnel. Mm. Well, you know, it's, it's, I, I was just thinking that, you know, I mean, I've, I've, I've been in a few companies where we're, I've gone in and, you know, we've, we've turned it around. And it's yeah. one thing caused it. And this is why I'm so excited about this. One thing. What has what changed? Is the attitude of the people in the organization that's the most important thing and and this this guy's i mean is the greatest thing what what we need to do now i mean once we set up the structure is just ensure that is there's continuity yeah. so we don't just talk about it and the way for us to do that man is man um just like i do with my meetings i mean i set a meeting time that is automatic. So every month we have this meeting, whether we have something to talk about or not, but it keeps yeah. the ideas fresh in people's mind. And we talk about it and that's how we build on it. Um, it's going to take a little while, nothing overnight, but you know that's how we start it and set up the infrastructure. That's going to be important. And um, you know we, we, we just have regular meetings. Once you have regular meetings, then you, you, you're going to move forward. So, you know, let's do this. I'm, I'm committed to it. You know, I will come in on the meetings, right, because I'm, I'm committed to this happening, right, um, and I think it's a great idea. Yeah, and we will do that. We'll definitely, of course, I want the people to know the truth is a lot of these things cannot continue on YouTube. Right? It, 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 has to, it has to be a lot of the... The, 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 the adding of flesh to the bones has to be done in a different setting mm -hmm. and then 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 a video can be done somewhere along to give an update but we, you can't you can't begin to bring people and have the kind of dialogue mm -hmm. like yeah. this so this is a, like an introduction and then once like you said that once all the pieces are together once the players are in place and you have the committee of course you have to set up you, you know how committees are what are the what what are the the, the expectations? What mm -hmm. are the criteria for being a part of this? What is the timeline for services? And you have yeah. you have what you call you, you have you have manuals to guide all your processes, so that if 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 there's a chairman, for example, we know that his tenure is one year, and he cannot get a next year, and he has to sit out. You, you know how those and you have those things, and to every step there is a process that everyone clearly understands. Those things can't happen um, on YouTube. 
but the people should always get an update as to what is happening mm -hmm. behind Makes the scenes. Sense. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I think one of, one of the main reasons why, why we were even in this position in the first place is the transparency, right? There wasn't much transparency in what was taking place. And I think that once we can be a little bit more transparent, in whatever we do going forward it would have it would have been a little bit more easier for the fans right because when they don't know what exactly is taking place but every time you're looking and there's something bad out there that is a time that you're seeing information so once um we are getting a regular update and stuff um it's a little bit more understandable for the fans i think mm -hmm. So the next, like the next meeting, Mr. Chang would be something that we we'll probably do with, like, like you, the, the, the all the when when the players from the states all meet together, then we can have a meeting, you know, with you and then probably the the the, 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 the coach and Mr. Speed at the technical committee, so you can and, and the same thing with Ricardo Gardner working on those in England, and then I think the hardest committee to kind of establish is we're now. You, you know the, the people who are not footballers, but they must come together to provide. Yeah, but, 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 what, what I say to your man is, man, is yeah. focus on one committee right now. Yeah, there you go. Get the momentum going with it. Okay. Right, and you have a central, a core committee, and then you might have other appendages that that help you with other things, but focus on one thing because. Um, the truth is that most times movements build because of a core of people, right? So just focus on that and set regular meetings. Whether it's once a month or once every two months, once a month initially would be good. And you set that, you create your objectives, and you all work towards it. So the next meeting you come, you, sh you say, well, these goals that we set last time must have been addressed, Right? And that's how that's how you're gonna build it. Definitely. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if any one of the other persons want to chime in or that there is anything you know else they want to say. But that is, you know, that is the 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 like I said, people. And and this is this is not this is this is what I've heard just listening to vlogger. And I can't like there's there's no no content creator I call them that have not spoken about these issues, no platform that has not addressed them. It's just that probably for the first time, we have something with a little bit of structure. So, so it, is not, it is not mine. It is, this is for, this yeah. is for the Jamaican football fan. This, this is for all of us, and all of us are a part of this, a part of this process, every single one. So, so, so sometimes the conversations are are very radical let me put it that way and, right, and, and the belt is taken out and, and, and some very strong statement and i know that and i know that even sometimes mr chong we say you know what i can't bother listening to ryan tonight and cut him off because he, 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 he understand me but listen even man, man is man, man is man. even if i cut off ryan i would never admit to it <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad everybody is on board and fans, it's over to you. This is important. I'm calling you know, I'm calling. I want to see how much of the fans them love Jamaican football, how much they say they want change. I want to see how much they will come together and support the cars. Remember, we are here to support. You understand? And all I want the fans them to do, just go and put on your 10 and your $5. Anything you give to the bank account, we appreciate it because it's going back, right back to the youths of Jamaica. You understand? One Jamaica will say, I want the fans them to come on board. Just like home there, I'm a cost every day. Me have to come out and take it out of my pocket to, to support the cars. You understand? So I don't want the people them. Because every single time we hear about money, the people them run go hide. I hope you guys don't hide. Because we have a need the five and ten dollar. Your man, man just say, okay. if you get ten dollar US or five dollar US or ten pounds, what do you give? You understand? 
we're going to need it because we're going to try to help towards the process. You understand? Yeah. Man, a lot of, I'm getting, I'm getting about 93 miss call already. So the fans, they want to, I don't I'm getting, I'm getting so many texts of persons saying that, listen, sign me up. I'm ready to give. Sign me really? Up. <laughs> but we don't have, we don't have, we don't, we have to work with Mr. Chang and see how the whole accounting stuff and, you know, um, yeah. you, you, you know, if you're a foundation, there are certain, in the state, certain things you have to do because you have to be properly done. So we, we, we're not at the place yet yeah. Yeah. To, to, to take anything from anybody. Like I said, we're going to work on one committee and keep you up to date. But it is good. And, and you know, sometimes, you know, th th there's a book that I read recently and it spoke about a, a surfer and it says what a surfer see somebody even here ryan alpha alpha maximum maximus network right um well i think he said earlier about giving ten dollars but 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 here's what the man says he says i think with a surfer that he's he he's on his surf and he looks at the perfect wave and he says when he sees the perfect wave he begins to surf when that wave dies when that wave dies he he comes off his surf and he waits for the next one and the idea is momentum. And what they say is that you have to move with momentum because you don't know when the next wave is going to come. Mm -hmm. So there is a, a momentum now with the coach and what is happening. And so while, 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 while we don't have anything in place, we're going to try to catch the momentum and try to make sure that in terms of the, the structuring, everything is in place so that you know, people can actually start giving to bring a major change in this area. All right. Yeah, see, 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 Jason, Jason Goon has said something good, you know. I mean, you guys set up a structure, open an account and link it to the PayPal, the Zelle Cash App. What we need to do is just make sure we have the proper accountability. So the right when why I like this is that it will show the records of what comes in. Comes in, exactly. Yeah. And then you can you can track that and have a, I mean be, be like be like a listed company every month report on your YouTube channel about our financial position and what the expenditure was on so, so just report that every month yeah. yeah that makes sense military so like you want coming Tennessee big up for the <laughs> donation really do appreciate it Bridget nothing but love and respect always supporting. Owen, Owen, big up man is man. Come no man. You can't take over your show in a bridge. No, man, you're just a military <laughs> and they said call. No, okay. Yeah, right. go on, man. Tell me when you want to call at them. Come here, get a hold. Just tell me when you're ready for them. All right? Go on. We're ready for them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Military, military you want to come in yeah, before. Just a, just a small piece because Ryan, the Ryan touched on it still, but um, it's just a reiterated it. The importance of the. All right, so. Them all, as I say, the, the YouTubers in the space, what importance them have in this space, what the purpose them have in this space, and how them can really help with JFA because they tend to talk a lot. Make me nice. Yeah. Oh, well, Ryan, make nice. Rest yeah. out with that. <laughs> rest out with that. But them claim to say we make, we make me nice and just run off for more time and go on with a bag of things. No, we have now come up with an initiative, and this initiative as um well basically money's money and he put it forward the initiative put forward now so it is now we can, it's now documented that there is a big initiative read jamaican football a collective initiative read jamaican football that's now rested on the shoulders of fan base so we as fans despite we, we, make, we, we, we do a youtube channel we're still fans it is now down to us to show the love we have and how we really need to support. Because something that I realized with, especially the YouTube space, um, you know, management men in Jamaica who can see it yourself. There's a lot of action on YouTube. There's a lot of talking on YouTube. But when in regards to the real world, in the real world, you don't see that same reaction. You don't see that same um, causation of everything that we have been discussed on, on the YouTube space. I can remember, you know, I'm not bring that up. Um, something was supposed to happen at the national stadium, but at, at the end of the day, we need to see you now where the fans are into this, and it's not a one month thing. And boy, me, me jump on board to it, and then forget about it after a while because what I realized is that the YouTube space is basically a, a 
I, it's I, like I, when reggae boys in play, that is when everybody is active. And once the reggae boys out of play, it, the, the, the whole everything is now gone. It's not quiet. So it's gone to the place quiet again. So <clears throat> we want to keep this going and we want the fans to really, really be dedicated to this. I mean, extremely dedicated to this, to this aspect. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is when the fans are on board with anything, that is the only way it can move forward. If the fans are pushing their 100%, that's the mm -hmm. only way it can move forward. That is the reason we, we all started our YouTube channel. We all started at night and night time, morning time, whatever time I did. If we pin up in our JFF, we have we have show stone up there. Mm -hmm. If <laughs> if somebody talk too soft, we have show stone up there. If somebody talk too loud, we have show stone up there. So the re the reason for that is we don't hate anyone in the JFF. We don't dislike anyone in the JFF. We don't want the good for the JFF. It's just all the pure love we have in seeing our football moving forward. Mm -hmm. No, so it's important that we take this as just as though we get up a morning time and turn on. We get up a morning time, look at Mr. Ryan's video, or a man's man video, and watch it, our coach's ex video. It becomes, it becomes slightly a bit um like our day-to-day -day activity. Um, I want this aspect to continue. So if it's a monthly thing that you can do, I would love for it to be in that sense. And even us, I want it to be an account where even us can, as a Jamaica, we can pay it because you know certain certain things really use a certain region. Because I would want, want to um, participate in it as well. But I want it to be a regular thing and not just when the reggae boys are playing, everybody are come around, the reggae boys now nah play. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they're looking at the account, not now nah move forward, just flat because reggae boys now nah play. So nobody no business about it again. So this can, can this can be a bit of connectivity of us going going forward and a more closer bond between the fans, the players, the JFF moving forward. So that's what I'm um, looking at. Yeah, guys, listen, I'm gonna have to jump off because I told the referees I'll talk to them and they have a meeting at, at ending soon. Um, so the referees want to have a word with me. Okay. All right, but 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 respect for all of this, guys. I mean, I really appreciate it. Enough, enough love. Yeah, man. Really, really appreciate this. Um, the next project we have, Mannings, man, is to see if we can get Ryan back on the Jamaica team. That will be a major, major project. I don't know if that one possible. But no, I'm retired, man. man. Retire. Yeah. <laughs> why, why, why are you talking about Special Olympics? <laughs> yeah, 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 Special Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> retire early, man. Retire. <laughs> yeah, oh, right you, know. yeah. yeah. you can't have a minion forward. Huh? You can't have a minion forward. <laughs> I'm going to put the first night in the Premier League. You know, yeah, man. You yeah, special, special Olympics training start next week. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, seen at the coach. So, no coach. <laughs> <laughs> finally, uh, finally, it's going to work. Yeah, finally, yeah. Work, yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah. All right. Man, you ready now? Grab, um, go ahead now. Carla, introduce yourself to. Mm -hmm. it. Yes, but yes, man is man, Prince Military. 